Hey, hey, hey. What's up, man? <laughs> How goes it? Pretty good. A little busy. I bet. How's it going? All good. All good. I think it's just um, kind of up to speed on the new place. Uh, but All yeah, right. so we might have continue doing some of this too as well, but I just need to find a little bit of time, right? Yeah, it's the hard thing <laughs> for yeah. sure. Yeah. This is why we got to get volunteers and uh, task taskable work. <laughs> exactly. CM. CM. <laughs> yeah. Hey, how's it going? I'm trying to change that, and it's putting <laughs> up a fight. So you you can leave it. We'll just have to make up acronyms. As oh go. yeah, I I, I welcome Chat that. GPT, <laughs> <laughs> tell us what CM means. Hi, hey, good morning, or good evening. Looks like the moon is out. <laughs> Hey everyone. Hello, Josh. Good morning. Hey, Roland. Well, Ricardo, you want to run the show and I'll scribe, or are you vice versa, or what do you want to do? <laughs> uh, I can get started, I guess. Um, but whatever. I mean, what uh, what do you, what do you prefer? Either or. <laughs> Kick us off, and then then you can. Punch. Yeah, we'll go. We'll go back and forth, I guess. Yeah. yeah. All right. Is welcome that... to the Native AI Working Group meeting. Uh, Today is uh, August twenty third, twenty twenty four. We have a few agenda items. Um, I posted the attendance link, so please add yourself. Uh, so uh, we get started with um, reports. So we have, if we have any updates from the leads, uh, we get started with Ron. Right. All right. Any any major updates or? Uh, nothing major. I'm just. Sorry, my too many tabs here. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Good morning, everyone. Hello, hello. Um, nothing incredible. Um, everything's pretty much going to be covered in the the new and old business. So, uh, just as a theme, I think for for all the new business, most of it's got to do with um, other events that are going on and things that we have opportunities to participate in. Um, so we'll we'll cover that when we get to it. So yeah, that's that's probably the main thing that's that's coming up. Awesome. Thank you. Adele, are you online? I didn't see him. Yeah. Okay, so he's not. Uh we can skip. Um uh we have uh Huamin and Huam I don't think Huamin is on either. Yeah, I didn't see him. Okay. okay, so updates for myself. I don't have anything unique. I mean, there. Um, I think there's a lot of interest in AI. Everybody knows about that, and uh, but would like to you um, keep on creating new things. So if you have anything new, just uh, bring it up uh, in this meeting. Um, one. Minor update, I think we you might have actually heard uh, from previous meetings that we're trying to streamline some of the different uh, streams, like if you will, of, of the, the different groups of people who want to do different kinds of things. So in, because the, the scope is really wide, so we want to kind of 
you know, set up like different task force or forces <laughs> that, uh, you know, tackle different, different areas. And, and so that not everybody needs to be like in a central forum and hopefully we can actually organize better and accomplish more. Yeah. <clears throat> Any comments on that or not, then we can move on. Yeah. I think at the end we should, we should talk more about the, the task management. Um, perfect. Yeah. All right. So we have, uh, all business, um, this is sustainability AI white paper in the works. I think, I don't know, it's not online. Does anybody else have any updates on that? Actually, so this is, I'm, I'm actually attending this meeting for the first time. Mm -hmm. um, Welcome. And, uh, so I worked for a few such paper security papers for tag group basically, and I actually had signed for this one, the issue seventy one seven seven security, uh, but I do not see any progress. I had asked a few questions, but Adele has yet to respond, so no idea. But I do not see any progress as yet. I had just started working on it. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Go, go yeah. ahead. Now. Yeah, I can. Um, uh... Yeah, I'll comment on that one second. Let me, let me share my s screen so everybody can see. And yeah, my question is that it is called old business. So is it done or what's going on here? Old business implies stuff we've been talking about already. New I businesses, see. new new to the this, this meeting. And will become old business. Man, where is the share button on this? <laughs> I can't even find it. All right. Any, anything you want to share? I'm already sharing. Uh, I was going to put the dashboard up. So if you just click that issue, it should take you to the. Okay. Yeah. So there's some um, projects here, right? And this guy, right? Yeah. Yeah. So is there a, yeah, security's in the backlog still. So presumably nothing. Yeah. Uh, deep. No, I don't suspect anything's been, been touched on that. So, so to to that point, um, uh, deep. If you're, if you have ideas, um, you know, for something of that nature, just please feel free to to start adding to to a, a document that's linked in there, or um, just as comments, and just just get get it started. That's right. I intend to do that precisely, actually. Yep. So I'm sort of doing similar work in the tag group for other stuff, more or less similar. So. I think I'll take a clue from there. Bro, are, are you focused? So what's, what's your background? Are you focused on security? Is that, that the... Yeah, secure threat detection, vulnerability, and uh, uh, attack surface, OWASP, et cetera. So that's what the experience I have. And uh, we just finished a security assessment for uh, OQS provider, which is not a CNCF project, but uh, we are doing it for the first time. Uh, it is open quantum safe, basically a cryptography provider for the open SSL. That is one project over there. But there is a security assessment in general paper is coming from tag group for uh, general guidance uh, paper for all project, basically. So uh, the issues mentioned in this uh, 177, I saw more or less, you know, overlap. Although it is for the AI and AI is not particularly covered the other side. Mm -hmm. But issues mentioned are very similar or same. And I have done at least uh, half of those issues for non-AI environment. But to extrapolate, that's what I'm trying to do is that I might extrapolate uh, and then discuss whether those apply or how to go, basically. Uh, that that would be great. Uh, I mean, that's that's definitely the kind of things we're, we're looking for. Um, just as a reminder, everybody, we're not trying to become like the single source of truth for all things, right? We... If other groups are actually doing, you know, if there was a, in this case, a scheduling AI white paper by another tag that was, you know, well on its way, we would prefer to actually just work with them, right? Um, but, you know, some of these things um, we may start, but other groups may start as well. So, yeah, if you see things uh, going on in other groups that you think would be informative uh, to the people here, please just just uh, report back uh, on it and that would be helpful. Okay, um, yeah, and I'll ping it down and see if there's any updates. Just, but and I'll let you know deep. But uh, I think it's probably just just in the in the queue. 
Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, I'll, I'll speak for Adele on the other stuff, the sustainability. Uh, there is a new draft uh, that has come to light. So there's uh, c- kind of like um, how we've been operating. The, their their paper was kind of a group uh, development and then went to, to a singular kind of editor. So that's kind of come to the next um, front, I think, in the last few days, actually. And so there is there is active conversation uh, going on in, in, in tax sustainability regarding this paper. So if you are interested um, in, in contributing to this paper, uh, they're, they're definitely could use eyeballs, reading it, you know, look for continuity, things like that. So I don't know if they're going to take a bunch of new contributions at this point because this paper has been going on for a, a fair bit of time. Um, doesn't mean that there can't be a version two. Um, you know, it doesn't mean there can't be related white papers and, and other things uh, or blogs, but um, I think they are trying to to get it to the finish line sooner than than later. So this might be your last chance to to contribute if that's something you were interested in. Um, yeah, so I'm actually sharing the paper and this is the, the draft. Yeah, right on. Uh, Josh, are you here? <laughs> Anyone want to? Yeah, I'm here. Any any, uh, so, any thoughts, comments? So, so I took a look through the paper. Um, just some minor things in there, like cross references to um, some of the regulation stuff, would be helpful for the reader. The one thing which I didn't see in there was how the the FinOps side of sustainability sort of links in with the with the challenges which are described. So that was one thing which sort of reading through the document. There's a lot about regulation, but not really a whole lot around the financial metering and monitoring of how the impact is as a result of um, where the workloads are being placed and where one is potentially consuming, um, you know, power and, um, and and resources. So, I'm not sure if we're too late in the game to go and add a section for that, or whether, um, you know, that's something that that we'd be open to adding in there. Right. I just want to add a whole lot of work in there if um, you guys are looking at closing it out pretty soon. No, you know, I mean, that's, look, um, I mean, you know, we, things got to get time boxed or they never get done, right? Uh, but uh, those are all, in my opinion, uh, great, great thoughts. I, I would definitely let them know. Um, that, better yet, if you're not on, on the Slack with them, um, which maybe you are, but for anyone, if you're not in Slack, they, they are pretty responsive on Slack. Um, so let me actually dig that up real quick. Uh, so they are not in the CNCF Slack just for everybody's edification. They are in the LFAI. Let's see. How do I copy this? Copy name. Um, here, I'll put it in the, in the document. So there's the, that, and then we need the url which would be of course it's not clickable okay oh you're ready yep okay so th- there it is that's where they these guys hang out so again just as a reminder for those who may be new uh the lennox foundation itself has an ai and data uh group and one of the sub efforts going on there is the sustainability effort and this is where that paper is being worked on so yeah, Josh or anyone, I would say definitely uh, put those thoughts there. You could put them in the document, but unfortunately putting them in the document, especially later in the game, things tend to get missed. So I'd say uh, those are great, great points, uh, Josh. I'd dump them in there. Okay, thanks a lot. I'll reach out. Thank you. All right, cool. Uh, anyone else uh, comments, thoughts on the sustainability paper? Okay, uh, again, I if you got time, take it for a read. Um, it really does, you know, help find little issues and, and things like that. Okay. So, uh, um, Cardo, should we move on? Uh, yeah, I have a question. So, uh, do we have a um, target date for this or we don't yet? So we'll <laughs> the, <laughs> the target was AI dev in Paris, which is passed and now it's KubeCon. Uh, but yeah. I, uh, okay. I think that's, that's the goal. Okay, cool. Yeah, yep. yeah. There, I think the AI dev. We, we were also trying to finish the scheduling white paper. Yeah. For 
Yeah, I did. That's what, that's still going on. Okay, okay. cool. Yeah. So scheduling paper. Um, so scheduling paper, uh, I, I have to admit, I haven't been on top of it for the last couple of weeks. Um, just been letting it kind of sit out there for anyone who wants to continue to contribute. I know there are some people who were going to contribute, um, but I haven't actually checked if they had or not. So uh, to Ricardo's point, we do want to kind of button this one up. It's uh, it's one of those, you know, it's a technical topic, right? It, it can go on for a long time with lots of details. Uh, we don't want to make the paper too simple that it's not actionable, but we also can't wait, f- you know, forever to to get every last last detail. So, you know, there, there's a middle ground there that we're trying to reach. So, um, I for my part, I, I'll uh, I will promise to to resurrect my my effort there. Uh, Ricardo and company to <laughs> to start uh, moving it to the next to the next goal post. But yeah, we do want to see if we can get this out um, in a readable form for for KubeCon. That way we can get more feedback from it. And by the way, everyone, these papers, as much as we'd like to make them authoritative in a way, you know, as a useful guide, uh, we don't know everything, right? It is volunteer driven um, and we're okay with uh, getting constructive feedback later. <laughs> so that, that we could always make a version two of things. Um, so that's, you know, don't be shy, uh, trying to contribute. Okay. Any, any questions on the scheduling paper? Okay. All right. Next, uh, we already covered the, this guy from Adele. So we'll delete that. Um, Sorry, okay. That sustainability uh, or that's, uh, yeah, it was the same one. Yeah. Oh, it's the same. Very same. Okay. Yeah, same, same. Okay, cool. Um, all right. So switching from papers, uh, there is a a project to report on. So uh, Boris, another one of our members uh, here, uh, him and I have been working on implementing Kiverno support uh, in KHGPT. Uh, we're largely there. Um, the, just to give you an I- idea for those who may not know what it is, KHGPT is a, is a tool that analyzes your cluster, uh, basically takes... Um, the errors that it sees and, you know, enumerates them and presents them to you. And then uh, a, a, that's kind of step one. A step two is, is it takes that information and then it prompt, you know, adds a prompt and asks, um, uh, you know, an LLM like, hey, you know, what does this mean? How do you fix it? Right. That kind of stuff. So in this case, um, Caverno is a policy engine. So that instead of just looking for typical Kubernetes errors, like an improper image label or something like that. It's more of, hey, this policy says you can't do that, and this is why, right? You know, that that kind of thing. So there's two ways to install it. The simple way is just run it as a command line tool. The other way is to run it as an operator. And so that's what this is. We, we built the command line support months ago. Um, the operator, for those who don't know, Kate's operators, it just means runs, runs a server in Kubernetes that has a deeper integration with Kubernetes. That's all it means. And so in this case, it's going to basically run all the time um, and then create a report uh, object, right? So instead of just dumping it out on the command line, it makes a, a Kubernetes resource called a, a report, which they need to actually change the name <laughs> to be something more sp- more specific. Um, and then you can see the, the issues that it finds and potential solutions there. So... Um, the idea with doing this, these kinds of work is just, uh, you know, we are the cloud native AI group. <laughs> so we're trying to use the cloud native tools and get them, get them integrated with AI. The next one on our hit list is going to be Istio. Um, and uh, there's a big push with Istio with Ambient Mesh. For those who may not be familiar, Ambient Mesh is uh, kind of a re-engineering of how the service mesh is implemented in the case of Istio. And so we're going to try to make tooling to to, you know, deduce that there's problems and and stuff there and the and just to be totally open here uh i am no expert in this i am just winging it <laughs> so <laughs> it's it's uh I've, I've never contributed code to caverna i've never contributed to to istio um but we're, we're gonna give it a sh- give it a shot so if you're interested in learning how to do this stuff uh and trial by fire uh please please join us so there are PRs for this. So again, the operator is done. We're just waiting to merge, barring any issues, uh, merge the the code. Okay, that's uh. Hey, Ron, can we actually uh, paste uh, some of these PRs uh, here? Some, some uh, 
Yeah. Right. Yep. Uh, I'll do that in, in a minute. Yep. Okay. Oh, great. Thank you. I just want to contribute that I used to work as solo.io, so I had some expertise on Istio. And if you put the EPR number, I'll very happy to have a look and uh, start contributing. Hello, I'm Alessandro, by the way. Oh, hi, Alessandro. Our hey, hero, hi. our hero is here. Yeah. Just, just who we needed. <laughs> the Istio hero. Sorry, we have Sharon also. His hands is up. Do you have any comments, Sharon? Yeah. Um. Hello, everyone. My name is Sharon. I'm from. I'm currently working in Reddit as a security engineer there. Um. <clears throat> so recently, we are going through, um, you know, deploying a lot of LLMs into our our cloud environment. Then I was looking around. Okay, do you have a proper guidance around security, observability, all those things? Uh, so I found this security paper uh, very interesting. Um, so I would like to contribute or maybe provide my own things in that paper, like you know, a for security. So how how these things will happen? Like you know, uh, do you have any kind of a subgroups are there? Because I I I I see that uh, Deep Patel was talking about it. Hi Deep, how are you doing? Uh, so how these groups will be divided, how these groups will, will, will discuss on this particular topic. If you provide any information on that, that will be really helpful. Yeah, I think we can facilitate that. Uh, uh, this is something that I was talking about in the beginning of the meeting that uh, if there's a group of folks that are really interested in security or security AI, uh, we can set up like a meeting or a forum for folks to meet like on a weekly basis and, and actually work on the deliverable right like like you know tackle the problem right because I, I think like not everyone necessarily is interested in that space um so having everybody in this meeting work in or having like a working session for the security white paper might not be the most interesting to everybody but but it's certainly interesting to a, to a group of people um so i think we can actually sync up um after the meeting in Ron and I and Adele can help you, you know, set that up. Is that okay? Is that great question. Oh, please go ahead. Oops. Sorry, somebody said something. No, um, I'm 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 saying that thank you. Like you know, because uh, it would be very interesting to understand, like you know, how these things will come together. Because I never contributed to, uh, like you know, cloud native group. The, this is my first meeting. Previously, I did a lot of other things. So that's where I'm just like you know trying to understand how can how can we work together. Because I'm sure a lot of companies are now they are deploying these LLMs, uh, but yeah. they are not properly deploying. Because I did a recently, uh, like you know, scanned internet, and I found that bunch of like an you know, ML flows, all those flows are exposing publicly. Uh, and uh, um, as per my security experience, most of these air flows or ML flows are very, very old. So yeah, there yeah. are a bunch of attacks out there. I can, like, you know, it's a big mess. So I'm just yeah. trying to understand, yeah. you know, how, how can we provide this guidance so that yeah. these new companies are coming here and uh, how can they deploy properly, add observability or security, how, how we can configure them very interesting topic this particular one is because this is completely different from like you know the previous uh, like you know the workloads we are actually doing like you know pods kubernetes deploying python go applications this is i think is completely different uh, uh, topic which, which, yeah which... yeah so Ch charan if um since you're new well, welcome first off uh, we're glad you're here um if you look in the chat i just posted uh, um at the top of our slack channel there's um links to like some guides that we've built like how to contribute what we're trying to do right now some of this is aspirational we haven't done everything yet but um you can get a better idea if you go up to like that in the, the bookmark section up there um under the important important documents you'll see um this kind of you know dis discussion how, how we do things but to what Ricardo just said, a lot once the groups kind of get going, they kind of meet on their own schedules, reporting back uh, to the main group. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you for that information. Yeah, and this is like general onboarding information. But yeah, after you're done reading this, yeah, we can help you. You know, set that up. I think there's a yeah, there's a gap between security and AI uh, because um, yeah. The, most of like the machine learning engineers and data scientists 
are not like experts in security. So there's always like a, some something to be done there, right? To to improve the ecosystem, improve the the way people deploy AI applications. Right. Very good. Okay. Uh, oh, Alexandra, you have anything else, or you? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Nope. <laughs> no, sorry. No. Okay. Yeah, okay. Cool. All right. Should we move on next uh, topic. Yeah, the new business, I think. Um, so let me start with the bottom. One. Well, I'll move it up top now. Um, so one of the things we've been asked, and Ricardo, if you have new information, please update me. <laughs> but uh, we've been asked to kind of centralize um, the conversations around just AI in general amongst the tags of this, the CNCF. And again, this doesn't mean we're, you know, taking it over. That's not the intent. But the, the idea is, is can we deduplicate effort? Can we point people to the correct experts? Uh, how I like to describe it is we're kind of like the traffic police, right? You know, someone comes to us and we're like, oh, these people are doing this or these people are doing this or we're doing it, right? And so that's that's the idea. So part of that is, is we're trying to convince people from the other tags to attend our meetings um, and vice versa. We attend their meetings. Um, you know, the tag sustainability is, is an example there. Uh, Adele and myself and, and Ricardo have kind of popped in there uh, a little bit to, to assist. Um, and they as well come, come this direction. So we, we really just want to, you know, take advantage of the group of people that, that we have. Not everybody can be everywhere all the time. So we went kind of from a ad hoc approach to, uh, trying to formalize, you know, Let's reach out to people on a regular basis uh, and try to try to be a little bit more organized around what's going on. And then, of course, that reaches beyond the CNCF. Of course, we've got the Linux Foundation data and AI efforts um, and other groups as well. So that's that's something that's that's going on. So for my part, I've reached out to all the tags. Um, I haven't been to all their meetings yet, but I'm trying to. I've been talking to everybody on all the groups on Slack. So we're 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 slowly getting there. So if you're if you happen to be involved with one of the other tags in depth, um, you know maybe you could help be a emissary uh, to this group, right? And kind of report in what the other tags are doing. Uh, if I can't, you know, for example, make make the meetings all the time or something like that. So that's something a way people can participate. Okay, so that that's that. Uh, the rest Sorry, of these uh, here. Let are, me cut nope. you off a little bit sorry so yeah. anybody has any comments on this <laughs> just wanted to okay. anybody from the tags uh, uh okay, so this is a sorry is... uh, hi this Xing? is this is Xing. yeah from tech storage so uh yeah Rona, you uh pinned us on the slack channel uh we are working on a paper uh in this uh, AI area. So the data on Kubernetes, data analytics and AI machine workloads, that's the paper that we are working on. Uh, so right now it's working in progress. So uh, I'd like to share that at some point. Maybe uh, I'll try next next meeting, maybe then can we can get some feedback from this group. Well, th thanks for coming. Uh, glad you're here. Uh, yeah, that would be no. that would be great. Yeah, please share. Yeah, so uh, I think there's an interesting area here, which is like the, for example, the training type of workloads. Uh, they need to do a lot of checkpointing on storage, right? So like, uh, because they use a lot of, you know, gigabytes and data. So that's a very interesting area that you can you can actually write something from the storage side, right? And mm -hmm. there might be other things, you know, how you store like um state when when you do inference, machine learning inference. Uh these LLM models are also really super uh, you know, large, <laughs> so large language models. So they <laughs> so they 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 actually take up a lot of storage. So that's another area. So I think there, there's a lot a lot to to talk about in that space. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, so um, yeah, so we'll share it and then you guys can give feedback. And so we're trying to get something out by KubeCon. We'll see if we can get it done. 
Very good. Oh, Very it's good. always hard, right? We'll have a deadline and <laughs> never quite <laughs> get there. But uh, yeah. if, if, if we can help, we'll absolutely uh, help. Yeah, yeah, sounds good. Thank you. Anybody else from the other tags or some other groups? Let's see. I mean, the security we talked about already, but I think that's okay. I guess we can move on. Okay. All right. So next, uh, AI Day at KubeCon. So for those who are unfamiliar, uh, KubeCon is, of course, our global <laughs> conference. And then AI Day is in the last few KubeCons, uh, a pregame event. So the day before KubeCon, um, have particular focus around uh, AI in this case. So we've contacted uh, Rajas, um, who I believe comes around occasionally, um, and uh, who's one of the organizers, uh, asking uh, how we may participate. So um, the actual organization of the AI Day event has been started by Rajas and, and company, uh, I guess through the Linux Foundation and, and the CNCF. Um, <clears throat> we had not uh, been asked to participate uh, yet. So we went ahead and ping prompted them um, to see what we could do. So things, you know, in theory that we could do as a group is one is just talk about the projects of the group. Two is kind of like, you know, explain how we operate and that we try to help other efforts and, you know, just drive, hopefully drive the conversation forward. So I have not heard back from him yet. Uh, it's been six, seven, eight, nine, it's been nine days. <laughs> so, but he did say he will get back to us. So, uh, uh, we should maybe by the next meeting have some, some update personally, I'm hoping we can just, um, either volunteer during the event in some, some way it could be a talk. It could be a panel. It could be just walking around the floor to discuss what's going on with the CNCF and the Linux foundation regarding AI. And I think that's really how I view it is just as a way to part, you know, just some way to participate. So anyway, that's, that's, unless someone else has something to add that that's where we're the AI day, again, the pre day for KubeCon. The next topic is actual we, AI we, uh, at KubeCon. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> uh, apologize for cutting in, but uh, anybody on the call has any thoughts on how they can help on with AI day or Anybody interested in this? Or uh, it sounds like a very exciting thing. So we had one at the uh, the last KubeCon in Paris. Um, I think we had a lot of attend attendance, uh, and hopefully this one becomes even bigger or as as good. Uh, but if, if if is anybody interested in this, or what what are your thoughts? My name is Nimisha. I work for Confluent. Um, and yeah, this is my first time attending one of these meetings too. I, I'm just kind of get, get uh, looking to get involved. Um, so I, I'm not sure if I'll be at KubeCon this year. Um, I have a CFP. If it gets accepted, then we'll see. But uh, otherwise, I'm not sure. But yeah, I would, I would love to get involved too in some of the projects you guys are working on. Um, so at Confluent, we have a basically a fleet of Kubernetes clusters. I'm on the platform team. Um, I've worked a little bit in secure in security as well, uh, especially with Cilium. And uh, um, yeah, and I we have projects related to deploying AI models on our um, systems too. So yeah, want to get involved. Thanks. Awesome. Yeah, welcome. Uh, uh, we, so, Ron, the, can we actually, so for some, some of these newcomers, maybe it might be a good idea to, if they're interested, uh, see if like they have a proposal, maybe they, they can present at AI day or something or, uh, uh but yeah. I, yeah. I guess we, we can, we can actually give an update in the next meeting once we hear from Rajas. So I think it's great. Like, uh, people, newcomers and uh, actually interested in contributing and, and maybe they're given like a slot at AI day and they can talk about something. Right. Yeah. Uh, I think it'd be great. In fact, we shouldn't have to wait for, for Rogers. We could, we could, we could deliver to him like, Hey, you know, here's some 
potential ideas that are that people are thinking of doing. So just to encourage him to to include us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It. I mean, if you have any idea, just bring it up. Like exactly, like, and then we, we can we can actually bring it up to him. It's like oh, um, Nimisha from Confluent. You know, she was interested in 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 this area, this space. And can we have a slot for her or something like that? We can. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, Namisha, what, what was your talk on that you submitted for? Oh, it was not for AI Day, sorry. It was for um, eBPF Day. It's, uh, it's around Cilium. Oh, yeah, yeah. Being able to yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, <laughs> funny you mentioned that. So maybe not for that particular talk, but if you'd like to join us for the Istio Kiverno uh, bash, please do, because Cilium is actually, in my mind, at least the next target after istio uh, because once we get to ambient we'll probably be already there um even though it's not using ebpf now but it can be on top of cilium anyway so uh yeah we'd love to have you there yeah we'd, we'd be happy to join yeah yeah we actually made an ebpf demo at a hackathon so we some of us uh uh, started to build some demos uh, at a hackathon, Ricardo <laughs> yep. and, and ACM members. And our one of them was uh, to use LLMs with eBPF. <laughs> so yeah, the more, the more, more we can do that, the the better. Um, yeah. On the same topic, uh, I don't think it's here, but we also have a tag run time booth, uh, KipCon. We, we requested that. So if folks want to, demo something at that booth that is related to AI or how to run AI workloads or even the intersection between these different tags, security, app delivery, storage. Uh, yeah, feel free to use that space uh, to to demo and, and to talk to the members in the community or or people industry, uh, interested in who, who are part of the industry. Right. Very good. Yeah, so I'll, I'll ping Rajas just you know let them know we we've got some interest uh is anyone here actually going to kubecon uh that, or at least know they are uh, i am anyone else no i don't know if i'm going yet <laughs> okay well, so i'm still working it out on my side so we'll back you up if you need it. quickly <laughs> <laughs> i see a sad face from claudia i think seems like maybe she's she's not going yeah i'm not that's so sad We'll we'll bring you there virtually. <laughs> um. Yeah. All right. So so what what we're looking at? Hopefully you can see my shared screen. Is uh the next item was Cube AI at KubeCon. So not this is not the pre day AI AI day. This is the actual KubeCon. So this is I just filtered the schedule. Um. This is uh the talks that are happening. Uh. That are you know at least categorized as as AI and ML. So I thought um. Maybe as a group, we'd maybe kind of just go through this kind of quick, just to give people a feel of what topic, like topics, not particular products or things that, you know, one is what got in and two is, is what, um, uh, is actually being discussed. Right. So, um, and then maybe have a little conversation at the end there. Okay. So I'll just kind of go through this. Um, all right. So this first one here, we're talking about Ray on Kubernetes. So we'll just say we'll just say Ray is is a, a more advanced scheduler uh, for particular workload management, and it happens to be on top of Kubernetes. So Kubernetes itself is kind of lacking the actual we'll say workflow uh, management ability. It can do scheduling, but uh, that's that's not necessarily the same level of of a workflow manager. Yeah, so in the case of yeah, oh, go ahead. And the thing about Ray is that it's a platform specifically designed to run AI workloads, right? So it's you, you, with Ray, you can, you know, run inference, run batch inference, you can run uh, training, you can run scoring. So it's a bunch of different things, that you, AI type of things that you can do with Ray. So that's that's why it's relevant to AI. That's right. That's right. Uh, next one, let's talk about boring operational side. So let's see, becoming increased AI is more prevalent, looking for harder at the operational side of running these applications. We need a lot of compute and GPU. We need it to be reliable. We need observability. Let's build our 
ML applications to run on top of the mesh instead of spending resources re-implementing the wheel. Okay, so this looks like uh, a talk on best practices, right? Uh, how to deploy these workloads effectively on something like like Kate's, right? Um, so that's probably pretty good. So that's more of a not not much of a tool, but more of an operational discussion. Um, high performance GPU clusters. So this has got to do with training. Um, talks about a four hundred node cluster with. 3,000 GPUs, how to deal with direct connect, failure scenarios. Yeah, this is Databricks and yeah. uh, probably their experiences around DBRX. And That's right. How they train it, basically, or how they how to use it to train. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Very good. So that's a, that's a, for those who don't know, Databricks is a company that's a, they're one of their offerings is basically, basically their version of a scheduler <laughs> for, for managing a large, large cluster. Okay. Next one, uh, cloud native orchestration to advanced LLM ops. Okay. Enabled new applications, GPU shortage, talks about the AI stack, doing LLM ops. Okay. I don't see any particular. Oh, there it is. So here's another talk on Ray uh, VLLM, yeah. which is so a this hosting. is Anyscale. This is the co-founder of Anyscale. Uh, Anyscale is behind Ray, basically. Yep. All right. So the first talk also Anyscale. Yeah. Very good. Okay. Next, uh, Open Telemetry. Um, <clears throat> so um, Open Telemetry is also uh, as a as a project is. is looking into using AI uh, to be part of the process, not just monitoring uh, the AI systems. So this this talk is LLM performance. So this is monitoring the actual training and, and the like. So this could be interesting. So observability of your systems regarding LLMs. Uh, don't wanna, we'll let you read it through always and just see if we can highlight anything interesting here. GPU configuration, that's NVIDIA. Load balancing for inference. This could be interesting. Um, one problem people run into is because it's a natural language interface. What does it actually mean to do that over REST? <laughs> right? And how do you actually man manage that? Um, any, any comments from, from folks on the audience about these? Do they seem relevant, exciting? Uh, is, are there any particular ones that are super interesting to you? I have one question, Ricardo and team. What, what, what was the feedback from the earlier KubeCon sessions? Like, where what, what was the area of the most interest from the sessions? Where were you seeing people um, really sort of filling up rooms and um, showing the most the, most in terms of the area of interest? Because obviously, it's a very broad area, and, and as you as you're mentioning, Roland, there's so many different topics and points. Was there one? area that was more sort of a sweet spot for interest than others or everyone just sort of got into everything? I I think it's all over the place, right? Because uh, KubeCon is, is a big event. Uh, and honestly, I don't have uh, access to the stats of attendance, people, uh, but we can certainly get that. Um, we can ask folks on the CNCF, you know, what the, I mean, it's something that that is interesting to you. Uh, they have some stats behind behind this uh, platform, like uh, SCED that they use, like how many people register. Uh, one thing about this platform is that people can actually create, uh, you know, mark the session and say that they're going to be attending the session, but they may not necessarily show up, right? So sometimes it's just kind of very difficult to to tell, you know, the exact number. But I guess with uh, this platform, you can tell whether somebody marked a session, and and maybe that will give you a good indication of you know how popular that session is. Uh, but I don't have access to that. But if 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 you'd like to find out, we can we can actually ping some folks in the CNCF and and find out more details. Thanks, I mean, Ricardo. We... I was I was more curious from the sort of call for papers direction. You know, what's what's the area of interest versus um, you know, the areas where yeah, it's less interesting at the moment. 
So for the CFP, I, I think uh, general guidelines is like KubeCon tries to be uh, very um, cutting edge and and so like people reviewing the CFPs, they they don't want to see like content that is actually been uh, present that has been presented before uh, or or things that are like kind of sound like uh, you know oh they already talked about this in the last. Uh, KubeCon, or and so generally was want to see like a more innovative type of type of topics, uh, but then anything can, you know, there's a whole wide uh, uh, of different members in the community that review these or review the the CSPs, uh, so anything can go through, but then something that is not like super cutting edge can go through sometimes and and then become part of the program. But in general, I think they they value more of the kind of more like cutting edge or or like uh, things that uh, they haven't they haven't seen before or or something that might help the community or might help like a like a new up and coming open source project. Like, uh, it could be that some of these some of these sessions also are around open source uh, projects that are like very early stages. Generally, those are not favored unless, like, they yeah they see that the the open source project is is something that is becoming more popular. I hope that answers, but I mean, it's not a it's not a, a one and zero type of answer. It's kind of there's a lot of gray in between. You you could sure, you could no. tell them what won't be taken, not not another rag presentation. Exactly right. Like, so, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because I mean, you've seen so many rag presentations, right? So why why somebody like uh, want to be interested in, in in watching this? Because there's just so much content out there. Uh, so I think there's more value on the on kind of newer content that that maybe you haven't seen before. Sure, makes sense. Thanks a lot, guys. Um, so I'll let you read through this. You can you get an idea kind of where we're going. Uh, we'll point out here here's andre so andre is one of our buddies here in the in the group so he he will be talking there uh he's very uh much involved uh with with all things cube cube flow andre um, you want to talk about that is he here yeah, yeah sure i'm here um, yeah all right yeah hey, andre. thanks ron um yeah so you know like uh, i still don't know if i'm going to travel but i really hope <laughs> to be there in person uh yeah but we kind of like submitting several talks um you to you know case or cube flow communities so the one that I'm talking about is actually about the new generation of training API and how we collaborated with the working group for the last six months to build a new uh, training workload and basically the customizable runtime um, to give you know the scientists um, ability to quickly fine tune or train all of their LMs. Yeah, I think like you know um, this talk basically and. I really want to, you know, maybe spend time, maybe not in, in two weeks to share more from outside what exactly it is on the proposal, because I think you already discussed this with, um, uh, with Adele before, uh, but we want to share, uh, our findings with this group as well. So maybe, you know, like, um, just to see if anyone from this group is interesting to work with us. Right on. Yeah. I don't care. Yeah. yeah. Well, you have a slot and then you can present. Yeah. Awesome. Good to see you, Andre. It's been a while. Yeah, that works. Thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I think uh, all these things, just one thing to mention, I guess, to Josh's comment on the talks is once you're in, um, it's very hard to demo this stuff in 20 minutes. Right. And that's, I would argue as a warning to anyone, I think people, at the I mean, I'm just kind of reading from the audiences of these, I go to a lot of conferences and I think people very often get, PowerPoint, you know, overwhelmed. Um, less is more, and demos are even better if they work. If they work, <laughs> right? um, it's a, that's something to definitely consider. And it's hard, right? You're like doing this on Kubernetes, and if you have to explain a little bit about Kubernetes, you got to explain a little bit about Ray. You got to explain a little, little bit about machine learning. Like by the time you do all that, your 20 minutes is up, right? Just to set the stage of what's going on, right? So it can be can be challenging to to do anything useful in, in 20, 20 minutes. Okay. So yeah, we do have some members of this group, uh, Andre, myself and others who, who are going to be presenting, uh, at different, different points. Uh, so please attend virtually if you can't, can't be there in, in, in person. Um, okay. So we'll stop sharing that. 
uh, we're getting close to time. Um, maybe we should should go ahead and move on. So so it's two. You I don't think uh, if you didn't get into QCon, correct me if I'm wrong, Ricardo. I think uh, I think the schedule is set now, barring any drops or any anything anything of that nature. Um, the next yeah, the QCon is I'll, I'll say AI that is set and I, yeah, I guess there is set, but then then I think the might still be opportunities so for folks interested even like I like mentioned the the booth that we have with tag run time yeah uh, yeah so there's there's some other things uh, yeah the booth is a great idea by the way anybody who hasn't demoed out a booth it's a great uh, way to like get in front of a lot of people quickly um what what kind of demos are you looking for like some example from the past that you can sh share. So, so what the last time me and Ricardo worked together, we were doing AI. Uh, you know, this this group basically trying to, you know, we were there to talk about AI. But I will tell you what, it was at AI Dev actually. Most of the people were asking us what Kubernetes was. <laughs> so they're like, they're like, I. I think I know what AI is at a super high level, but I don't actually know what Kubernetes was. So, so it was kind of funny. The 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 bulk of it uh, wasn't even getting to the point of talking about a AI. So, I think when you you know you got to be you got to meet the person where they're at, right? So if they if they don't manage, you know, if they're a data scientist and they were you know they're here to learn about what's going on, but if they actually don't know things like Kubernetes, that's a big you know thing you have to kind of overcome quickly, right? So. So I'd say that's it is like just demystifying things is really what these kind of like people who walk by are really hoping to get out of it. Okay. Um, and this yeah, includes that, some big wigs too, like higher ups, like you'll get, I remember we talked to some guy, Ricardo, I don't know if you know the guy's name, but he's like the head of, of uh, sales at NVIDIA. And he was like, do he simply just wanted to know is like, do we work with Kubernetes? And I'm like, hmm, well, <laughs> funny you say that. You can buy Kubernetes if you want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think I might, I might propose something. I'll, I'll give some thoughts and then reach out to you. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good experience. It's, 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 yeah. and, then, and then you you get to talk to different people. And I, I, I it's a learning experience, right? So, I mean, I don't. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I feel like uh, in this event, so when you network with people, you 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 learn quite a bit, right? So. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. Ron, do you want to talk about the next one? Yeah. So speaking of events, <laughs> um, the next one is uh, Global Encryption Day. So this this is not a, an AI, we'll say, driven event. Uh, so real quick, what is it? It is ran by the Internet Society and the Global Encryption Coalition. So it's a global event, it's been going on for a few years. Uh, I am putting on, uh, through the, the local internet society, uh, putting on a local event in San Francisco. And so what I wanted to bring up here is, is if anyone has interest in talking about AI and encryption um, at any level, you know, beginner, you know, researchy academic stuff, productionized stuff, whatever you got, uh, we we would love to have you uh, talk. So we actually have two event concurrent events happening. Um, one is going to be over at Google in, in SF downtown at their community center, and the other one's going to be over at Cloudflare. And so um, if, again, we're looking for uh, uh, someone to talk about AI and encryption. We've got many other topics uh, that are covered, but this is, you know, for this particular group, that's what I'm hoping to get the word out on. So if you're interested in, in doing that, it's October 21st and um, just ping me uh, if you're interested. And again, it could be any level, right? It could be just initial thoughts or it could be, yeah, we already got a product, right? Like what, whatever you want. And the, the range of talks at this thing, just to give you an idea, are we're, we have a training track on how to do encryption and it's largely going to be around cloud native tech just because that's where I'm from. <laughs> but um, there's also going to be things like quantum encryption, uh, and you know, so it's the whole, the whole range. So anyway, uh, if you're interested, uh, I'm involved with the internet society. Um, and that's why I'm 
involved here. So please, if you do AI and encryption at any level, I'd love to hear from you. All right. Uh, second to that is um, just there's other groups. So I mentioned the Internet Society. So the Internet Society has its own AI SIG. So for those who don't know the Internet Society, this is a little bit of an oversell, but the Internet Society runs the Internet. And they um, they have an AI working group. Uh, it is early days and there's not much to see. Uh, but I am trying to get, um, I'm trying to spearhead them to get them to be more active. Now, the Internet Society, if you if you don't you know what they do, one um, their main mission is is equitable access to the internet, right? Whatever that means, it could be changing laws, you know, helping train people and everything in between. And so, in the case of AI, um, the main initial thing is, is is about risk management, right? So, if there's a lot of AI bots running around, are they trying to take advantage of people on the internet? So, what can the internet do about that, right? Should 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 we make TCP, you know, fight back against the AI, right? You know, something crazy. So that's the kind of stuff. So if, um, again, it's another opportunity for for our group to potentially inter interact with some some other group. So that that's another group just to to be aware of, and they they do things as well. Uh, then there's also the Association for Computing Machinery. So I'm also involved with the local chapter in San Francisco. Um, we put on AI events every month for the last two years. <laughs> so if if you uh, want to talk and maybe you didn't get into KubeCon. Uh, you are more than welcome to uh, apply to the, the local ACM to to present. So um, you don't have to live in San Francisco. If we need to do it virtually, we could do it virtually uh, as well. So um, while we're here talking about AI, it's not just AI. Um, it could also be things like, you know, there's actually a big interest in CI, CD tech, right? And, and, and all this kind of stuff as well. So... Um, you know, and there's the hybrid of that, like Kubeflow, things like that. So if you would be interested in presenting that to the ACM uh, local chapter, that would be great. Our local chapter has, I don't know, 12,000 members. So it's it's a, it's a fairly big audience. Um, and then, of course, that will get broadcasted across ACM Global uh, as as well. So if uh, if you want to talk about AI and other technical topics, please just be aware there's other efforts uh, going on. And we don't care if you did your talk somewhere else. <laughs> if you want to, if you want to come do it again uh, for us, you know, because if there's a question and answer at the end, right? There's interactivity stuff. There's things you can update, right? So we don't want to limit, um, you know, practice makes perfect. So if you did a talk and you want to do it again, because you'll do it better, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll take you. But uh, lots of stuff there. But the main thing again is October 21st, encryption, AI, Bring it if if you got it. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, Ryan, one question: Do you have a link to where folks can go and propose? Yeah, I'll, I'll 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 add the links here. Along maybe with the links. share with, with like maybe on the Slack channel or some. So folks yeah. that are interested, they can they can actually submit talks. Right. I got our swag too for Global Encryption Day. Yeah. Cool plushy locks. <laughs> cool. Uh, yeah, and uh. And the last one here is another event. Unfortunately, this one I was super pumped for. It was going to be at Fort Mason here in SF. Uh, it just canceled. Um, or I should say postponed. It's postponed till probably February. Uh, the group running it, unfortunately, got vandalized, uh, their equipment and stuff. So they are, they're having to punt it for, for now. So this, just keep an eye on it. It was quite affordable. Um, last week's pricing was two tickets for 150 bucks. Um, but I've been to many of the, the this group's um, meet, meetings and conferences, and they're very good. Uh, they do a very nice job. It's the um, Be My App, if, in case you've not heard of them. Be My App is the company, and they put on hackathons and conferences and meetups around the world. Uh, and so I trust this would be another. Uh, it was looking to be a good one, but unfortunately, they got the San Francisco treatment. <laughs> <laughs> They can host somewhere else. Yeah. So that that's it. There's, there's lots of events. So again, don't let KubeCon uh, be the only one to to um, be the event on your your horizon. There's other groups that are doing things, uh, and we do have connections. Uh, specifically, the ACM and ISOC. I'm the president of both those groups, so <laughs> it's pretty easy to get in. All you gotta do is send me a message, um, and we'd we'd love to to have you. Great. 
Any last minute uh, thoughts, uh, comments? We have one minute. Yeah, I, I have a friend who um, lives in Lisbon and she does uh, responsible AI stuff. I told her about the white paper and um, she's interested in, in taking a look or contributing or whatever. So where should I send her? Uh, just to, to the Slack would be the easiest thing. Once you're in, just like, hey, I'm so-and-so, I'm interested in this. Uh, and then easy. Yeah, perfect. And then yeah, we'll uh, focus on... Like Ado or other folks on this Slack that can answer, that we can provide pointers, and, and yeah, we can guide her. Yeah, sounds good. Cool. I've got a meeting. I'll I'll get back to you about it in like two hours. Yep. No yeah. problem. Bring bring him in. Nice job, man. Yeah. <laughs> Doing my part. <laughs> yep. All right. Thank you very much. Um, I'll see you in a couple of weeks. Yeah. Keep on, keep on doing AI. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, everyone. All right. Bye. Bye, all.